Ciao ragazzi, my name is Anthony. Welcome back to Into Worldwide. Sorry if it's a little bit loud, but I'll get through this nice and quickly. Minus five, minus five, minus cinque. Five days until Inter compete on the biggest stage of club football. Five days until we go on to the pitch in Istanbul in front of the entire footballing world and put on a spectacle, a display of Limone Ball to be proud of as we send shockwaves of anxiety, pressure, pain towards Pep Guardiola and his obsession and Manchester City's obsession. And that's exactly what we touched on in our press conference today in Zaghi, Di Marco, Bastoni. That's pretty much all I'm going to speak about anyway. Di Marco using Jose Mourinho's inspiration, their obsession, our dream, their obsession. Just like Man City in previous seasons, obsessed. Just like Barcelona towards the end of Messi's time there, obsessed. Juventus for how many years, obsessed. Paris Saint-Germain, obsessed. There is no obsession here. There is only pride. There is only suffering together. There is only unity. C'è solo l'Inter. That's it. That's all there is. Win, lose, draw, penalties, extra time, 5-0, 4-1, 1-0, 0-1, 2-1, win, 3-1, whatever. Five days. Five days until we compete on the biggest stage. The rivals are shitting their pants. Because if we show up Manchester City and pull off a victory in this final, they go missing for years after this. This morning, Paolo Maldini and the co-director have left Milan. If there was no Maldini, they would not have re-signed Leal. He's probably going to leave. You've got the issues in the back room with Juve growing worse and worse every day because there's no definitive answer or solution yet from the club. You've got Napoli, who have just won the league but have had to change their manager and they will completely have to reset a lot of their backroom system. I've been really calm recently. And it's not necessarily because we're in a Champions League final. It's got a lot to do with making the top four. It's got nothing to do with winning domestic cups. Survival mode is in the back end. We have weathered a storm so deep and so vengeful and so full of, full, full of, of bad energy for the last two and a half years. Rival fans expected us to tank and finish mid-table. All we have done is shown that we can survive and still win. And I just said this on Twitter. For the last two and a half years, Inter has been the banter point, the focal point of banter for these rivals. And on the way, we have collected four domestic cups, qualified for the Champions League and pending are in a final. No, actually, we are in a final, pending victory. I am really curious to see how Juve and Milan handle season one of their damage control next season. Humble yourselves. Humble yourselves. This ain't easy. Over to you guys. Good luck, bro. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Di Marco and Bastoni full of confidence. Inzaghi speaking about how he bumped into Pep Guardiola on his honeymoon. Or in New York City. I... This final is going to be such a joy to watch and be a part of. I'm not nervous at all. I'm just getting more and more excited every single day. The suffering of the last two and a half years has been worth it. Because I know that we're coming out of this next season stronger. I'm that bloody confident of that, and I'm never confident about optimism. But next season, I see some good things. I see good things happening from now. Thank you so much for watching. Back tomorrow for Minus Four.